Hi, my name is Bert Kuipers from Brouwerij Nest in Turnhout, Belgium. I'm the president of the brewery who won the Christmas Beer Festival in 2018. Um, our brewery started in my garage actually in uh, the year 2004. We started to experiment with some uh, beers, blonde, dark, uh, some successful, some less successful. And in 2012, we decided to build our own brewery. So from hobby to really professional uh, organization. Um, started brewing in 2015 in our new location in Turnout with a capacity of roughly 8,000 hectoliters and currently specializing actually in uh, barrel aged beer, whiskey barrel, rum barrel aged, but not with dark beers, but with strong blonde beers. And one of these dark, these, sorry, one of these blonde beers aged on rum barrels we call Schippenboer Winter and that's the beer that won uh, the first, uh, last year's edition of the Christmas Beer Festival. And what did it feel like to be confirmed by beer consumers? Because you won, it was a vote by drinkers and not just yeah. a judge and jury. That's something yeah. very special. There is, indeed, indeed. Uh, there, is a, there are a lot of um, uh, competitions with, with medals. Um, some competitions, it's even harder not to win a medal than to win a medal. Uh, but this, this festival, this, um, this medal is, is, is different. It's, first of all, it's not from professionals or so-called professionals or so-called connoisseurs. It's from actually consumers who um, come to this festival, 1,800 people, they vote and they choose only one winner out of 230 beers. So that makes it very special, that makes us also very proud. It's indeed um, an yeah, acknowledgement for, for, for the quality of our uh, blonde beer, barrel-aged beers. You made a special beer for this year's festival. Um, we make now every, for every every year we make a um, different uh, version of our Schoenboer Grand Cru, which is our 10% blonde, uh, which we age which we age in rum barrels. Uh, this year's edition is a little bit different from the winner of last year um, in this way that we use now uh, barrels for the second time in which we aged the beer for one year, and we used new rum barrels from Belize in which we aged the beer for let's say six months, and those two. Uh, types of barrels have then been blended to have a slightly more balanced uh, beer even versus last year. So in my opinion the 2019 version is better than the 2018. Excellent, so people can really look forward. And what's your philosophy in terms of, you say you started in, what year was it? Uh, we started home brewing in 2004 and our brewery started in 2015. Um, philosophy, um, I like hoppy beers. Um, we don't have really, uh, we have a signature. We, uh, our beers are more hoppy, uh, they're Belgian style of course, but for instance our wheat beer or our triple, they're slightly more bitter than, or more hoppy than, than a regular beer, uh, Belgian beer. But we like to focus on uh, Belgian style uh, beers. So um, at this moment we don't have an IPA for instance. We do have a Russian Imperial style, that's actually a little bit of an exception. But we focus on um, Belgian beers, um, but with a lot of taste. Not, not uh, crap from the industrial brewers, but also not really uh, too extreme. Uh, we just like to be in the in the in the middle of the of the of the of the, uh, of, the of the crowd. So not too extreme, but also not not really uh, boring. Where do you hope to go from here? Uh, well, of course, we want to expand a little bit further. We are doing a lot of efforts now to expand in Holland. Uh, we hired salespeople in Holland who work directly for us. Uh, we want to expand further in uh, France. Uh, we have a license agreement with somebody in Russia uh, who is going to brew our beer locally and then sell it lo for the local market uh, in Russia. Of course, at a different price than that we can do. Um, and I think, well, um, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I don't want to conquer the world. Uh, I realize, for instance, in the United States, you have 6,500 breweries. Uh, north of Spain, you have 800 breweries. Italy, you have 800 breweries only in the north. So um, we are focusing on our home market. Export is nice, it's interesting, uh, it's extra, but it's definitely not our focus. We uh, focus more on Belgium, Holland, France, which we consider to be our um, home markets. Okay, so our, our brewery is based in Turnout, and Turnout is also known for, not only for our beers, but also for something else. Actually, Turnout is the world capital of the playing card industry. We have a 300 year old tradition of producing playing cards in my town. And when in 2006, 2007, when we um, launched our first beer, we were of course thinking, okay, we have to give the beer a name. So we thought, okay, if it's uh, from our town, let's call the beers after playing cards. So the first beer that we launched was the Jack of Spades, like now the Jack of Spades Winter. 
Um, we have a Queen of Diamonds, we have a King of Hearts, uh, Ten of Clubs. And it's not because we are we enjoy playing cards, uh, we, don't, we enjoy playing cards or we enjoy playing poker. It's just uh, to show that uh, it's to, to, to make a link between our beer and the region where we come from. So the capital of the playing card industry. And um, actually that's also one of the reasons why we are so successful, especially in um, abroad, in Asia Pacific. Um, I have I once met for the first time when I met my uh, importer in China. He came to me and said, "Bart, I want to import your beers into China." I said, "Okay, yeah, good. Which beer do you want to taste?" He said, "I don't care how these beer taste. I just love these labels of playing cards. And Chinese people, they are gamblers. They like to play poker. And your beers are ideal when you have a poker game at somebody's home to take them with you and to give them as a present to the host." He said, "I want to have your beers in China." And today, still, China is our fourth most important uh, export country. Um, and also Japan. Japan, there are gamblers too. Strangely enough, not the United States. So in Las Vegas, don't uh, bother. You're not going to find our beers. So how much do you export to China? I mean, is it the it's a, it's a It's a few uh, containers a year. Uh, so export is for us 50-50. So 50% Belgium, 50% export. Um, of course, Holland is for us the most important export country, followed by Italy, and then I think uh, China, yeah, two, three containers a year, which is not bad for a small brewery like ours.